Just like Jurassic Park before it, Michael Crichton's The Lost World was a novel before it was a movie. And while I enjoy both the book and the movie, it's clear that those two are completely different things. It's like Steven Spielberg went up to Michael Crichton and he was like, yo man that last movie was a hit, we need a sequel dog." And he was like, alright bet, let me write another book. Steven read the book, he was like, oh that's cool, that's cool. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not adapting any of this fucking shit. I appreciate the effort though. There are so many characters in the book that are not in the movie, or characters in the movie that weren't in the book and you just get all confused by the end of it. For example, let's look at Sarah Harding's character. In the book, she's pretty cool. She's pulling weight, she's badass, she's like Lara Croft, Tomb Raider type of character. But in the movie, she's an idiot. She's a fool, she is stupid. What is going on? So you're telling me this scientist at the top of her field walked around with a T-Rex baby blood soaked jacket after specifically mentioning how the T-Rex sense of smell- Y'all, no, no, something's not adding up, y'all. People this stupid shouldn't be allowed to live. <laughs> I don't like that. Oh, no, Dinosaurs no, 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 no. Away. We're here to observe and document, not interact. Uh. <laughs> you serious? Sarah in the movie isn't really Sarah. There's a character in the books named Dr. Richard Levine. He is pretty much the movie Sarah equivalent character that they just kind of merged personalities. Kind of like how they did with Ed Regis and Gennaro in the first movie. Cause this guy is smart but he's kind of a fucking idiot. He's the reason Ian even goes to the island because his stupid ass sneaks on there. And then there are characters in the book who didn't even make the cut for the movie such as Dr. Thorne or Arby. And if you're wondering who Arby is, take a look at Kelly. You notice something different about her? Do you see any family resemblance here? Yeah, that's because they just took Arby and Kelly and they just merged them into one kid. Also, the main villain of this novel is not Peter Ludlow, it's Lewis Dodgson. He's back and nobody still cares. No, stop! What are you doing? 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 With your life? Holy Jesus! What is that? What the Damn. fuck is that? Come on, fucking Dodgson is basically driving around the island with two certified meat riders trying to steal dinosaur eggs. So basically, he's trying to do what InGen Harvest Team did, but much, much worse. Y'all, I'm not even kidding. This is the sorriest operation I've seen in my life. These three fools took two myosaur eggs and they thought they were hot shit. They're like, yo, after this, let's go straight to the Rex nest. Just as I predicted, as soon as they stepped into the Rex nest, y'all, every single one of them sold. Dodgson got himself some jank ass sound machine and he thought that's about to do shit. Of course it didn't, and then Basilton's scary ass stopped moving and he got eaten. So they drove away, Dodgson got hoed, the other guy got eaten by a raptor, y'all. This was this was selling from the start. They Lesson learned, if you don't have Roland Tembo on your side, you are not winning. Speaking of Roland Tembo, that man had an amazing introduction in The Lost World, which they cut out of the film for some reason. Same thing with Peter Ludlow introducing him in the boardroom scene. Why would they cut these integral scenes out of the movie? Were they high on some good shit? He's smoking on that Site B long grass. It's all going to the long grass. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Stop laughing! A man got torn in half and you're laughing! You're laughing! Y'all, Eddie Carr did not deserve that. I don't know why. You know what though, actually, it might have been better than what happened in the book. He fell off the high hide and he got chewed up by raptors. That, 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 that might be worse than what happened in the movie. He was a hero! Stand up and salute him! Okay, look, so a whole lot of crazy shit happens, right? Oh, crazy raptor chase, you know, Carnotaurus, camouflage, tense scene, but in the end, everything is alright, right? Dodson gets eaten, like Peter Ludlow, and then they all get on a little rinky-dink-ass boat and they make their way to Costa Rica. At least that's what happened in the book. No, said Steven Spielberg. Man, I made Schindler's List. You know who I am? I made Jaws. Get the sorry fucking ending on my face, bro. Fuck that. Hell no. You know where we're going? We're going to San Diego, baby! I swear to god, watching the third act of this movie is like watching a whole other movie bolted onto the lost world, and I love it for that. Yo, what is there not to like? Turn off your brains for a second. Dinosaurs destroying the city, whoa, chaos, whoa, confusion, whoa, 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 panic. Whoa, 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 whoa. This hey, unlucky hey, bastard hey, hey, getting hey, eaten. Hey, hey. Yes, his name is actually Unlucky Bastard. He wrote the screenplay, by the way. So if you didn't like this movie, just keep watching this scene, I guess. 
Oh my god, a dinosaur is destroying the city. Bitch, look at those gas prices! In conclusion, if you weren't a fan of the Lost World movie, I'd highly recommend you read the novel because it's a lot different and honestly, you might just find it better. I personally love both of them, but it's clear that this is a whole mess of a situation from translating the book into a movie. Nothing, however, can get as messy as the production of Jurassic Park 3. Holy shit. But that's the story for another time.